What's going on guys? So today's video, I got a guess, y'all know who this is, but if you want to find out our thoughts on Atkinson's Mint and Tonic, stay tuned and watch. So this is your first time coming across this beautiful, sexy, bald looking <laughs> bastard, and then you got Steven here. How's it going? And you like this type of content, and someone who's sarcastic, no shame, and a very self-deprecating sense of humor, and a bit of an attitude, then, sus <laughs> then subscribe because you're gonna like this type of material. So make sure to hit that notification bell just so you don't miss out on any future content, but YouTube does not always send out the notifications. So please come back to this channel every so often, at least once a week as I do two to three videos at this time. However, before we actually get into the review, slap a like on this video to show YouTube and myself that you like this type of content. So guys, we're gonna be doing Atkinson's Mint and Tonic. So we actually have Ryder Lessons here from New Jersey. Yeah, how's it going everybody? Thanks wow, for so somebody <laughs> actually came to see me. Of course, you know, it's not too often that I get to come to Canada, but there's no way that I would be able to come up this far up north without seeing you, so. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you for All hosting. Right. So Atkinson's Mint and Tonic was actually launched in 2018. I actually have my notes here. The notes itself, do you want me to read out the notes or do you want to list anything first? Um, as in take a guess as to what could yes. be in there? Um, well certainly mint as far as the uh, you know name yep. implies. The only other note that I would probably guess is either mint, uh, excuse me, in addition to the mint I would probably guess musk or juniper. Okay, well you're you're close. Okay, okay. so top notes would be grapefruit, mint and lime with the mid being Ginger, geranium, and mandarin, and the base is vetiver, musk, and cedarwood. Ah, okay, surprising. So this is, is this your first Atkinson's that you've come across? Uh, no, I've tried a lot of the uh, Oud Save the Queen, and um, okay. I've tried some Atkinson's for sure. My friend Carlos owns some, uh, oh. but this is the first time that I'm trying that one. Atkinson's is known for the most part for Oud Save the Queen, Oud Save the King. Yeah. Me, I like my fresher stuff. So you listed off a couple notes. Yeah. So what I get is that I definitely get a blast of citrus and lime with mint, like it's very green and citrusy in the opening. Yeah. And then in the mid, that's when the ginger does come into play. Yeah. But about 90 minutes into it, it becomes more of a soapy, clean type of fragrance. Still very green, still very citrusy, but it's not as like minty or ginger. It's more of a soapy type of scent. And then in the dry down or the base, it's pretty much just like musk. Right. What would you say, like what would you use this fragrance for? I think this is a pretty casual scent. What's the price on it, if you don't mind me asking, for okay. the vicinity? So unfortunately, this is not available online. I have okay. seen these on FragranceNet, FragranceX, but at Holt Renfrew, you're looking to spend 185 Canadian, so that's 140 to 150 American. Okay. All right. Yeah, so what I was gonna say is, pending the price, I think this one can be worn casually. 150 isn't too bad, it's pretty much double the price of the designers that you'll find on the market nowadays. Um, but I can see how this would be worn in like a dressed up scenario as well, just because of the refinement of the citrus. Okay, Yeah. I find that this is more of a casual type of scent. Mm -hmm. You can wear it to work, you know, a suit and tie. But for me, I find that if you work in corporate America or, or an office, and you wear, say, something classy like Creative Ventus right. as your work scent, this is more of a weekend scent, hmm. I find. Something casual, how Steven is, like <laughs> flip-flops and shorts. It's a hot day today. Yeah, yeah that it is. But seasons, summer, yeah. longevity wasn't bad, but, you know, when you're paying for something like this, I want something a little bit more. Sure. Four to five hours projection was more on the milder side. So wife's thoughts, she actually likes this one. She says it's very green, fresh, and citrusy, and also very soapy. It is unisex, but she finds it's more so on the masculine side. Do you have anything else to add? Like, let's let's finish off this video. I think it is unisex, you're right about that. I mean, I like the freshness in the opening. I don't get necessarily a burst of citrus, but you can definitely tell that the citrus is there. In terms of the mint note that's in here too, it's not like a Healy's Montfreiche, if you have tried that one as a frame of reference, but there's enough of a mint in here so that it's refreshing, but it deviates away from the traditional aquatic fresh scents that people are so used to wearing this time of the year. But ultimately, I do find this to be a very pleasing scent, and I enjoy it. This is one that I would purchase. Okay, in uh, rating out of five. Um, I'm only saying this in comparison to other citrus mint fragrances that I've tried. Uh, I would probably give this one either a three or a 3.5 out of five. Wow, okay, no, no, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so me, I personally, I really do love this one. This was a gift, a birthday gift from the wife. Oh, that's awesome. So I, I gotta make sure that I love it because it's, you know, comes with money. Yeah. 
but I really love how casual it is. I'm a casual guy, how soapy and clean. I love the mint in this one, and I love mint-based fragrances. Mm. And my final rating out of five is gonna be a four and a half. Wow. Sorry, four out of five. I think what can be changed a little bit is the price tag, but also the performance. I find that yeah. when you're spending this kind of money, I want something that's gonna last minimum six to seven hours. Right, I can you know? understand that. So, anything else to add? No, uh, please subscribe to this guy. Once again, if you took something of value from this video, Chad is an awesome individual. Like he said, YouTube doesn't always send out the notifications, so please support this channel by subscribing to this guy over here. And I'm gonna attach Steven's link down below just in case you haven't checked him out. Thank just, you. But uh, they all know who you are. <laughs> so guys, that's our take of Atkinson's Mint and Tonic. Steven, thank you very much for thank doing you, this Chad. one. really appreciate it. So we're gonna actually gonna be doing a lot of videos when Steven's here. So I gave Steven a list of the fragrances that I was looking to do, and he actually chose this one. Yep. Glad that you did, because I was gonna do it regardless, but at least we got another take. So we got it's my the pleasure. professor. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna end it here. We thank you for time, take care, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.